The average man makes 1,500 new sperm cells every second. And while it only takes one sperm to fertilize an egg, a lot of the sperm coming out of the factory aren't really up to the challenge. A lot of them are slow, dead, deformed, or mutilated, and aren't useful to anything, let alone child making. But what makes a sperm healthy? According to the World Health Organization, there are four main sperm health parameters driving your fertility. Sperm count, semen volume, sperm motility, and sperm morphology. Your sperm count is just that, how many sperm come out when you ejaculate, and typically measures how effectively your testicles are at producing sperm. Sperm count is typically measured as a concentration, how many millions of sperm are in a milliliter of semen. If your sperm concentration is below 15 million per milliliter, you're considered to have a low sperm count and a high likelihood of infertility issues. Sperm concentrations between 15 and 55 million per milliliter fall in the moderate range. If you're above 55 million per milliliter, congratulations! You're in the optimal range with a low likelihood of infertility issues as the number of sperm in your semen is directly correlated to time to pregnancy, and you're off to a good start. But don't worry if you're low. Sperm counts can fluctuate a lot, and there's a lot you can do to turn it around. Surprisingly, the amount of ejaculate that comes out does matter. Semen volume alone has little impact on your fertility, but it can be used to calculate other parameters like total sperm count, which you can calculate by multiplying your sperm concentration by your semen volume. Semen volumes below 1.5 milliliters are considered a medical condition called hypospermia, or low semen volume. Volumes above 1.5 milliliters are considered healthy and normal. Semen volumes can change depending on your hydration, diet, and abstinence time. Sperm need to swim to fertilize your partner's egg. Unfortunately, not all sperm are gifted swimmers. Sperm motility determines the percentage of your sperm cells that can swim. In a typical man, about half, or above 40%, of the sperm can swim. However, sperm can switch on or off their swimming due to the environment they live in. Changing semen temperature, pH, or viscosity can cause your sperm to start or stop swimming pretty quickly. So, sperm motility is a subjective estimate of your sperm's athletic ability. Finally, your morphology, how your sperm are shaped. Just like each person, every sperm is created differently. Not all sperm look the same. Some of the weird shapes could be two heads or no tails. Your morphology measures the percentage of your cells with a normal shape. Just like motility, your morphology is somewhat subjective and it's still an area of debate amongst the experts about how important sperm morphology is for a man's fertility. But generally, your sperm should be comprised of between 4% and 19% of normally shaped sperm. This will make it easier for them to swim through your semen and fertilize your partner's egg. While these four factors, sperm count, semen volume, sperm motility, and sperm morphology, are the most widely recognized factors for determining sperm quality, there are other factors like semen color, pH, viscosity, sperm agglutination, DNA fractionation, and liquefaction that can influence fertility. At the end of the day, you do only need one sperm cell to successfully fertilize an egg, but the more healthy sperm you have, the more likely you'll be able to have a successful pregnancy. And TRAC is here to help. Check out our TRAC male fertility testing system at trackfertility.com to help measure your sperm production at home, but also to help you take steps to optimize your sperm health and improve your chances of conception. We're here with you on your journey every step of the way. Track, helping men become dads.